morning everyone if you haven't already don't forget to hit the subscribe button ring the little bell videos every tuesday and friday on occasion we do the sunday video heidi is back she is still here she is doing bits we can talk about heidi a bit more people are quite interested about heidi if you ever want to be on a video we'll chat about it if you ever want to get onto it in today's video what we are doing me and heidi to start with i wanted to do a full video on taking the tires off this clamp see what the grass is like but we don't have time. We are siloing today. It is, the time is half nine and the guys are coming in half an hour. I've done the additive already. We just need to get all these tires off and there's a hell of a lot of tires. It is the day after bank holiday Monday, so Tuesday. And the man who got a flat tire, Des is just fixing that. We've got it fixed. He's just coming with that now. And then he's gonna give us a hand with the bucket. But me and Heidi are gonna chuck all these tires off. Not even gonna film it. We're gonna get, get this done, get ready for the guys clamping today. I don't know how far we're gonna take it back. <laughs> don't stand on the sheet, Tom. First rule of sheeting up, don't stand on the sheet. Dad was talking about just getting it to the top here because by the time we put grass on here, it's just gonna be over the edges. I don't know, we'll see how well, see how well we get on doing it. But yeah, I'm gonna take the tires off and then we'll catch up. Three, one minute. You're about to see some amazing, well, I'll, do, I'll do that amazing thing. <clears throat> watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. All right. Yeah, so I knew time was short. Lads have just started to pick it up and it's just coming in now. That is dry. That is some dry, dry silage. I got a feeling and I'm gonna feel it out. It got me shaking up and moving around. From the birches to the black top. We want it all, we want it all. From the first sip to the last drop. We want it all, we want it all. started as we were finishing up you can see what i did in the back of the clamp dave's up here hopefully won't run me over go out of his way at the back of the clamp we've put all the tires i actually just rolled it to here and then i thought there's not enough space just to hear this bit so we threw the tires back again and that's where that's going to live what we might do as well is put some straw bales on top of this clamp just to weigh them down and freeze the trailers because Dad's idea is there's 97 acres to chop. We're not going to chop all that. Well, if it fits in, we will. But I doubt it'll fit in because it's a big old crop, which the potting gym mower smashed, if you haven't seen that already. And it's very, very dry, luckily. It's coming in nicely. What Dad's thinking is the stuff that he mowed earlier on is actually leave that big field that they're chopping is do three runs around the outside and then bale the middle bit and bale it today. And then everything I mowed, 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 yesterday and Sunday, we will chop that because it's gonna be a bit moisture that the silage will cope with that. And the drier stuff is better for bales. That's the plan of attack, we think, because I don't think we're gonna get all of it into this clamp. We might do, but to start with, that was only 40 acres. We've got 97 to get in. And like I say, it's two, two and a half, three weeks behind what it should be. So there's gonna be lots and lots of grass. It's really exciting, already got some great drone footage. Yes, because I haven't got it covered for milking today, so my brother-in-law is gonna take over me when dad, I'll take over dad in a minute at three o'clock. And I'm gonna go milking with Heidi. And 
My brother-in-law is going to do this till about six anyway. Depends what time we finish. They're here in good time, so we might get it all done by six. That'd be nice. Right, we will keep chopping. if I get some drone stuff whilst I finish milking or something but uh, yeah I'm gonna try and actually do a bit of work I know it sounds a bit horrible but I'm gonna have to I think ah. yeah no chopping all right yeah not bad at all very nice very nice dry dry really, it's really, really so what's, well. your, what's your plan you good chop that bit chop there chop that bit there I'm gonna cool chop everything no we'll not lose seven acres Right. Leave that for big bales. Try and chop everything yeah, try out. And chop everything out. It'll get a bit slower, which will go good. Dave's just like mounting yeah, yeah. it up. So. All right, all right. Go, I might go, go. keep go. going. We've done the two fields there. Dad is just taking over from me. It is getting on to half one. I'm not gonna be milking for two hours yet, but he's had some free time, so I can go join Heidi a couple of jobs before we go milking, and then I'll come back. Uh, Dad wanted me to show you how smooth it is on top and how good a job he's doing. He just said, look on top, look on top, look how, look how smooth it is. It's obviously growing a lot. It was in line with all this. Should I have taken that off? Maybe. But well, it would only use the bit there, maybe I should have done, we don't know. The weather looks like it's just about to turn, or turning, thinking about it, which isn't great. Hopefully it should be alright, I don't think we'll get all this in. So that 
acre field that we ploughed that we're going to chop. It's been rowed up, ready to go, but the rowing up man saw there was a lot of stones in it. And the issue is with stones going through the chopper, it could blunt all the knives, break the knives, I think. So that wouldn't be great at all. What they're doing is they're going to do that bit of field last. If anything does go wrong, it goes wrong at the end and not the start. We've just started on the L-shaped field, which is a field that I mowed on Sunday, so two days ago. And it's a lot greener than all of this other stuff. It's a little bit less time to wilt. You'll see on the outside where Dad did it, it was darker and in the middle was a lot greener. But yeah, it's going in nicely. Are we going to be able to fit it all in here? That is the next question. How many acres have we done so far? Probably 50 acres, so we've got 40 to do. Dad says we're definitely not, definitely not chopping the seven. So we've got the 18, well, 12 of the eight, 12, 12 of the 18, 20, 32, and then the other one, which is gonna be about 10. So about 42 acres left, I think. Should go in, maybe, probably. So we finished milking, they might have finished all the chopping, we do not know, and it's rained a bit. You can see there's rain on here, so I'm not going to put a bag there. I'm going to go to see how they're getting on. Des has stopped chopping, so we're going to find out if they're done. just driven back into the yard. Our yard? Yeah. Oh. I finished, I finished about half an hour ago, so I'll pick up the car. Right. I'll go see how, oh, this is really close to my face. Three acres, right, I'm going to go. So he's definitely finished, I've just watched him out. Have you? Yeah. That's new. Probably bad in the trailer there. Oh, I'll go see what Dad's like at that clamp and we'll go check it out. Bit annoying I missed it all, but... Full? Yeah. Full. Just rolling with Dad whilst we're going. If you just look at the tractor tyres, even though we've done a lot of rolling, there's very little grass sticking to the tractor tyres, which gives me the impression that there will be not as many sugars in the grasses. We've had on second cut, particularly where it was very sticky. We can even feel it. Uh, it doesn't mean the energy is not in the grass. It might be in a different form, but it's not going to be full of sugars like the second cut grass was. And hopefully it'll ferment well. It's in good order. Uh, the proteins will be there. But it will upsy daisy. That was to the limit. We're nearly with the point of no return. 
Fall of Plate 85. It's this big fat lad on the back that's causing it. <laughs> Get out of that hole. Yeah, but it's, uh, it's built really well. The last two or three fields that only got mowed on Sunday, it is now Tuesday afternoon, have come in really well. And they've really compacted their top. And uh, it's looking a good plant. It's our third good plant this year. We've been blessed with a lot of good potential quality silo. That'll do. We'll get it eventually. Okay. So there he is. Third and final cut. We never chopped third cut. Is in the clamp. We've got loads of big bales. The only field we did leave is the seven. I say we. I have not been involved in this one today, really. I've done bits, obviously, till about half one, but these guys finished five o'clock now, so they've finished, so I've not done as much as I normally would, but a bit annoying. Hopefully, I've got some good footage. It did rain at one point, which was a little bit annoying, but it looks like it's making great stuff. They chopped, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but they chopped the 3.6 acre field last, the field that we plowed up. There was plenty of stones in there, so they chopped it up. I didn't ask. If there's any issues with it, Dad won't know. The lads might know, with stones or not, but they've done it last. Uh, but you can, that's why you can tell. I don't know if you can see from here. Hey, it's a bit drier at the front than it is at the back. In the back, it's solid as anything. Will the sheep fit? <coughs> Who knows? I'm glad I didn't take them off because it would have been a pain in the ass. We're gonna put some straw bales on here. On here, we'll see how I feel tomorrow. I might video it. I might not. I've not videoed sheeting up this year, so I might video sheeting up this. We're gonna, like I say, we're gonna get them straw bales and all, chuck them on top, I think. So, yeah. Guys, thank you very much for watching the video. Please give it a thumbs up. The thumbs up are amazing. I do really appreciate the thumbs up and the comment. The comments are great to read, really do like it. Uh, yeah, it's great. So don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you want your TP merch. It's at pemsesfarmshop.co.uk slash TP merch, you can get it there. Get this stuff when you get really hot. You can wear this, or the hoodies, because it's gonna get cool. There we go, weather report from Tom. Guys, thank you very much, and we will see you in the next one. See you in a bit.